Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. And I would consider this a score today for my area. Um, be of course, I've talked about how I finally figured out what day Target stocks their cards, and so we were able to pick up this mega box of 2020 Optic Baseball. And look at this, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching the channel. I actually remembered to grab top loaders and sleeves for this video. So here's our opening today. We have 10 packs of 4 plus the bonus 8 card pack. We're going to be looking for those red wave parallels. There also is one auto per box on average. This is actually the very first mega box uh, I have ever purchased retail because I never see them, quite frankly. So, uh, really looking forward to this. 48 cards in here. So, let's get to ripping. I think everybody kind of knows what really we are looking for in here. Of course, looking for those top rookies, uh, such as the guy on the box here, Aristides Aquino. You've also got Gavin Lux. I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't really need to list them all off of everybody if you're watching this you probably already opened some of this on your own so here's all of our packs here we'll kind of put the box in the background I guess here's our uh, bonus pack and they're kind of bowed so what the hell's up with that uh, and we have <clears throat> 10 packs of four here Aquino again on the front of the pack. Probably going to be a fairly quick rip with only four cards per pack. This is my first time opening Optic. I have opened um, a bunch of Donruss, but this is the first time I saw any Optic out in the wild. Oh boy, look at those tree climbers. I clipped them. So here is our first one. This is Jorge Soler. Diamond Kings. We have an Albert Pujols. We'll take a quick look at the back in case anybody is for some reason not familiar with these. Like I said I'm sure everybody has opened some at least Donruss at this point. Here's a Pujols. Like a refractor. Call that a prism. So a hollow. And then here's... An, oh my god, anyone dropping Pujols on the table already. Here's a nice one. Let's try not to drop this. Aloy Jimenez. Let's take a good look. Illusions insert. Very nice. Second year for Aloy Jimenez. And then the last one, Luis Severino. Let's try not to drop any more cards on the table. Thankfully it was not anything super spectacular that I did that with. But Chris Patrick. Uh, excuse me, Chris Paddock on the back there. First one, Josh Rojas, rated rookie. There's the Aquino, rated rookie. So a nice score there, even though it's just a base. Um, I don't really care. I didn't have this uh, Aquino. Yeah, I don't think I had the um, Donruss one either. So cool one there. We'll put him down on the table. Here's Eric's Alex Kirilov. That is a number RP8. What is that? Rated Prospect. So, a decent one there. And then there is Chris Paddock. I'll put Aloy down on the table as well, because I think that one's pretty cool. Aloy Jimenez, one of the young sluggers for the Chicago White Sox. I'm trying to open these without uh, revealing the back card just yet. Here's our first one. We have a Nelson Cruz Diamond King. Next up is an Aaron Judge. And that is a Prism. So that's a nice one there. What do we got coming up next? It's uh, upside down. And we have Christian Yelich Stained Glass. That is really cool. I've never seen one of those before. Awesome design there. And then Charlie Morton, 
the last one. We're gonna put Yelich down too, just because I think that one is cute. Arguably the best player in the game. Which I would say he's... Well, I don't know. Mookie is pretty damn good, which is why it pains me so much. Here's a good rookie. Jordan Alvarez. Rated rookie. So two of the top rookies we have found here. Jonathan Daza. Next up we have the rookies. Bo Bichette. Another nice one there. Insert set. Prism rookies. And then the final one, Marco Gonzalez with some schmutz, as I call it on him. On to our next pack here. The Optic Baseball, as hard as it has been to find in my area, it's been, uh, Easier to find than Optic Basketball, considering you're watching us open Optic Baseball and you have not <laughs> yet seen us open Optic Basketball, and I don't know if you ever will. Posey Diamond Kings, next up Kyle Lewis, rated rookie, another nice one there. Next up we have Jose Canseco, 86 design, and is that... That is an, so it's an insert in Optic. I was going to say, because in um, Madison Bumgarner is the last one. In, uh, in Donruss, the 86 design is the actual 86 design with the blue border. So I was a little, a little curious there, wondering if that was a parallel of some sort, since we didn't get one in that pack. Next up we have Rico Garcia, rated rookie. Yoshitomo Sutsugo, I think I'm saying that correctly, rated rookie. Forrest Whitley, rated prospect, is an insert. And then Tommy Edmond, so that was definitely... That's probably our worst pack so far, arguably. Of course, all of our best stuff we've got. On the back in the background there, still looking for an autograph. Could be in our bonus pack as well, which we are saving for last. Next up here is a Mike Trout. Diamond Kings. Can't go wrong with a Mike Trout. Next we have Aloy Jimenez Prism. So two Aloys in this box here, a little bit of paper or something off of the wrapper there. That's a pretty nice one, not numbered of course. Next we have Brendan McKay, the rookies, and finally Nolan Arenado, another great player there. Three packs left here out of the, not including the bonus pack I should say. Still looking for our autograph. But for 40 bucks, which is the retail price on these, I would say I'm pretty satisfied. Jesus Luzardo, rated rookie, is another nice one. We'll set him down in the top right. Domingo Leba. Next we have... Very nice insert here. Mythical. Ronald Acuna Jr. Let's, uh, we'll set the last one down. So this one is very sweet. What is on the corner there? Nothing, something off of the pack, I guess. And that is a prism as well. So, Ronald Acuna, of course, one of the big young names in the game. And, of course, I pulled out the sleeves and top loaders, but I haven't used any of them yet, and I probably should have. Kind of saving them for the auto, or hopefully we get a big hit. Here's our next pack. Second to last, not including the bonus, there's the Yelich Diamond Kings. Next up, Zach Collins, rated rookie. Here is probably our autograph, I would imagine. This is definitely our autograph, and it is numbered out of 99. It's going to be a Donnie Walton, on card auto, rated rookie. Um, admittedly, I don't know a lot about Donnie Walton. 
so uh, if anybody does, <laughs> somebody will have to let me know in the comments. But number 26 out of 99. So since we did pull those sleeves and top loaders out, we might as well go ahead and sleeve this sucker right up. We'll top load it there. I always give it a couple of taps on my knee cap to uh, get it down without damaging the card. So not bad, even though, like I said, I don't really know much of anything about Donnie Walton. And the final one is also a decent one, Aaron Judge base, and you can see my reflection in the optic. Here is our final pack, and then we will do our bonus. Oh, and we also set down, uh, forgot that we'd set down Hyunjin Ryu, which I guess is, um, kind of forgettable, so understandable that I forgot I had put that one down. We didn't take a look at it. Ever so carefully pluck these out. Awesome. 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 Another of the top rookies, the Gavin Lux rated rookie card. Love that one. So we've got Aquino, Kyle Lewis, and Jordan. And now we're adding Gavin Lux into the fold. Let's slide things over here. I know it's blurry for the moment, but we will focus in at the end of this box. Marco Gonzalez. Luis Robert Mythical. Wow. This one is very nice. We're finding all of the big name rookies in this box. Of course, this is an insert and it's not a prism like our Ronald Acuna Jr. But it is indeed a Lewis Robert. Nonetheless, I can't really see to sleeve these up that well while looking through the camera. It is a Lewis Robert nonetheless. A couple of knee taps there. That is a beautiful looking Lewis Robert insert. I am incredibly happy <laughs> with this box. Definitely did not expect um, to find as many of these big name rookies as we have found. And then lastly, Pete Alonzo. Another good one there. So again, I am pretty satisfied with this box so far and we still have our bonus pack of parallels remaining. Hopefully uh, everyone else has, is liking this opening. Let me know what you think of this box, even though we still got this last pack left. Alright, here's our red wave parallels. We've got Manny Machado first. Let's see if these are... they are not numbered. Next is Kevin Biggio, another good one there, George Springer, Willie Calhoun, rated rookie Jake Fraley from Seattle, Anthony K, rated rookie, Vladi Jr., Diamond King, Red Wave is a nice one, and then Bruce Star Gratterall, you saw us pull his SP out of our 2020 Tops Series 2. So, again, like I said, I am incredibly happy with this box. I don't know if other people would, I don't know, maybe feel differently, but, you know, we got some pretty cool Red Wave parallels there. We got the uh, Prism Mythical Acuna Jr. Let's actually focus in on the background here. We got the Jordan rookie, Gavin Lux rookie, Kyle Lewis rookie, Aquino rookie, Luzardo rookie. Uh, our autograph wasn't... I don't know. Like I said, I don't know much about Donnie Walton. Maybe that's a good autograph, maybe not. I'd say it's decent at best. Uh, numbered out of 99, which is still cool. The stained glass Yelich, I think, is really cool. Bo Bichette, the rookie's prism. Uh, and then also this Lewis Robert mythical. Which, uh, I don't know. I might That might be my favorite card out of the whole box, honestly. Uh, 
definitely I am all in on the Lewis Robert train. Uh, we also pulled his rookie out of our uh, 2020 Tops opening Series 2 as well, so go back and check that out. Uh, so again, let me know what you thought of this box in the comments. Did you think it was as good as I did? Uh, if you disagree, that's fine too. Uh, let me know. So if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and do so. And we will see you next time for some more headlocks and hot packs.